G'day everyone and uh, thanks for tuning in on this episode of the Barra Powered Inter. First things first, I think I'm going to attempt to um, put the BA fuel tank to the Inter. Um, it was mounted on the left side of the car in the BA, which is where I'm going to put it. Um, someone's put a battery tray back here, so obviously you have to get rid of that. Probably might go out at the same time rip the holding fuel tank out. Um, so yeah, that's pr probably the biggest job in this video I want to get done. And yeah, if I get extra time, I might start thinking about how I'm gonna um, piece this firewall together. And also, I want to run the extractors off the BA Ute. So I'm thinking I might pull them off and see if they'll actually work with A, the firewall, and B, the holding chassis. See if they're gonna um, all sneak down there. Um, so yeah, like I say, fuel tank. Um, maybe look at the firewall again. Exhaust. Um, and I think that might pull us up for this video. If we get most of that done, we'll be doing really well. So yeah, let's get into it, eh? Oh yeah, so I got that ba that battery tray that someone had put in there, got it removed. It was actually bolted and welded in there, so I've cut it out. Um, Sat the BA tank down here. You can see that's the um, the factory hole where the filler net comes out on the one ton. I've got it lined up. As you can see, the petrol tank's too long to fit in that hole. Um, even without pulling the tank out and all the rest of it, I know it's not gonna fit. Um, which is kind of the reason why I like to run the Ute chassis as well. It just sort of gives you a bit more, um, like you have to cut less off them. And um, yeah, it just makes it easier to sort of fit stuff around. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut this um, brace out of here. Um, and like I said, I'll go ahead and remove the factory fuel tank as well. It needs to go anyway, so just give me a bit more space. But yeah, initial fitment shows, yeah, need to cut this out, so let's get it out, eh? Yeah, so my uh, GoPro died there before, but um, as you can see, I've got the uh, holding fuel tank removed, and I had to clearance. Yeah, that um, that bracket there for this fuel tank. Um, actually, pulled one of the fuel tank brackets out of the the Falcon. That one unbolts. The other one, I got to um, drill out the spot welds, and I'll um, yeah remove the sections. Where this mounts up to as well, like I said, it's just trying to utilize as much of the factory stuff as I can, but I think that tank's gonna work where it is. Um, probably just gotta fettle around with the position just a little bit, but yeah, it's um, looking like it's gonna work. So yeah, like I said, I'll move on to, um, I might pull the um, rest of the brackets out of the Falcon to, um, yeah, get this tank mounted. Alrighty, so it's Monday, I've just, um, yeah, knocked off some tape. Um, so where we got up to on Saturday was, yeah, starting to try to fit the, uh, fuel tank. So I'm probably gonna keep going with that. I want to remove the remaining, uh, brackets out of the Falcon, because that's what I want to use. I want to try and retain all the, the factory mounting setup out of the Falcon, carried over to, yeah, the Inter. Um, so I'm gonna get that sorted out and seeing how we go for the Saab, but I might even, um, Potentially move on from there and work out the final sort of clearance on the firewall. I'm not sure yet, but uh, first things first, let's get in this fuel tank. Right, yeah. So these are the rest of the brackets. Um, these these sit on top of the tank. That's what they rest up against, and that's the other. That's the front bracket where the strap hooks in. So what I'll end up doing, I'll pull the tank back out and um, yeah, assemble it with the straps and everything on it, tighten it up, and then yeah, sit it back in the chassis and. Um, yeah, see how I can attach it. Alrighty, so I've got that um, that inner bracket just tacked on there for now. Uh, I've cut this um, top rail to length um, and I'm gonna tie it back into that original tunnel brace there. Um, so that's worked out really good. I'll get that tacked on. Once that's tacked on, I'll uh, work out the front side because it has, I don't think there's a whole lot for it to tie to yet. Uh, but yeah, work, um, get this backside um, tacked on and work at the front. Alrighty, so I'm going to shut it down for the Saab. It's getting a bit late up here. Um, 
I've basically got this fuel tank uh, mounting setup roughed out. Um, obviously, it's not finished, but um, yeah, the positioning's correct. Um, really happy with how it's fitting. Like I said, I've got a fair bit more to to finish off, but as far as um, positioning and how it's going to how it's going to mount, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I just sat this other bit of RHS in. It's not that well of the bolt in it, but um, <clears throat> something like that too will support um, these rails as well. Like I said, I'm not certain if that's going to be it or not but you get the idea of uh what i'm going with there so yeah gonna shut it down here for today and yeah get back into it tomorrow all right yeah so it's the next day um back home from tafe again uh like we said we got up to yesterday mounting that fuel tank probably not going to go any further with that just at the minute i might shift my focus to i want to pull the last few bits off the ba um that i know i need for now just so, that, just so I can get it out of the shed, give me a bit of space. So what I know I need for now is the extractors and the flex plate. So I'm just gonna pull them off for now. Like I said, I know I need them. So I'm gonna pull them off and um, yeah, might get the BA out of the shed, get some space up in them. Alrighty, so I got the flex plate and the pipes off the, um, the BA, pushed it outside. Um, went ahead and removed the exhaust manifold off this thing and sat the extractors in there and it looks like it's going to work out really well so happy with that um, and just been sort of I just had a bit of a clean up in the shed um, and I just sort of had a quick mark out on the firewall I think I might go ahead if it's not too late I might go ahead and make a couple little cuts um, yeah and see if I like the um, the shape I've come up with for the um, firewall eh? Right, yeah, so it's next day back at it on the inner. Um, thinking about trying to um, start thinking about mounting this radiator. So I went ahead and pulled the bottom radiator mount out of the BA, um, just sort of sat it up there, got a bit of an idea. So I think I might tack it into place um, and yeah, get this radiator situated and sort of have a bit more of a think about that. Um, and then when I'm sort of Happy with that, I might actually move back to the firewall and maybe start um, getting a rough idea of my recess. I don't know if I've got enough sheet metal to really start making it as an but I've got this piece here, so I'll start measuring, I'll lay it out and um, see if I've got enough to start working with it. Otherwise, yeah, I'll find another job, but first things first, let's have a this radiator, right? Eh? Alrighty, so I went ahead, got the uh, radiator mounted um like i said it's not fully finished off but i do have the um top brackets made um yeah it's pretty rigid uh i just sat the header tank in there just to get a sort of rough idea of what's going on um probably have to get the inner guard in there obviously to make all that work that's gonna have to mount to the inner guard but i'm thinking yeah be able to use the factory hose just shorten it up i think because i'll probably have to yeah bring it forward a bit um sort of sits on the brake mask cylinder there but That'll, um, yeah, that'll work out really good. And as far as the hoses are concerned, you're going to be able to use the factory hoses, but I'll probably just split them and, um, yeah, put a Stano uh, joiner in, and that'll, um, that'll sort that out. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, like I said, I might go ahead and start measuring the firewall. Alrighty, so I've been playing around for a little while with this um, cardboard template for the firewall. I think I've got a, a rough idea of what I'm working with. Um, probably got to make i'm gonna make these um cuts here just a little bit wider um yeah the template i've got bringing them back there sort of give me it you know more than the hand hands width um to get behind the manifold um to work on this thing a bit easier you can see like the heater hoses run from the back and all that bell and bolts um so yeah like i said really happy with that with the first sort of stage of the template um obviously a fair bit more to do but yeah um Gonna shut it down here for the day and let's get into it tomorrow. Alright, yeah, so it's the next day. I've been playing around a bit with the, um, the firewall template, getting it um, pretty close to where I want it to be. Um, I'm gonna trim the firewall out just a little bit um, for a little bit of clearance to make, the, make it all work. Um, but I think I'm gonna duck into town. Um, yeah, after I've finished that template off, I've got it pretty much there. It's gonna finish off this. Um, right hand side just do that side there once i finish that off i'll um 
the old duck in a town and get some sheet. I thought I had some sheet, but it's only um, the thinner stuff. I'll go and get some um, heavier gauge sheet metal and um, yeah, pull that template apart and start um, knocking up the floor. Right, yeah, so just got back from town, got the sheet of steel, so get it unloaded and um, yeah, start um, tracing this template out, eh? So I've got that um, yeah, file piece cut out and uh, fold up, tacked together. Um, I just sat it in there, it looks pretty good. Uh, I've just got a duck out, I've got a car appointment, so I'll go and get that done and see how I'm feeling. The salve, I might play around with it. Um, maybe, yeah, trim the rest of the file out, get it tacked in and work on the lower half, eh? Alrighty, yeah, so it's the next day. Oh yeah, I didn't manage to get back down here yesterday after my car appointment, but uh, what I went ahead and did this morning was, um, yeah, get that firewall recess tacked in there. Uh, yeah, looking really good. Uh, obviously, it's only top half. I haven't done the bottom half yet. Uh, but what I've done so far, I'm really happy with. Thinking about uh, button this video up here, everyone. I've got to, um, yeah, get back to work. So I've got to um, shut it down here, have a big clean up, and, yeah, um, get the shed ready for next visit home. So, yeah, I think we've got... Um, good amount done for the video. I got the um, yeah, the old fuel tank removed, the new one mounted, firewall, radiator. Um, yeah, getting a real good run on on things for now. So um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Um, do us a favor if you can, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.